welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Today I will be enjoying a growler. Well, what's inside it? Um, this is Thor's Water by Top Rung Brewing, which is a Kvaik IPA. Now, a few months ago, I was drinking a something. It was a cherry flavored beer. I know because um, I confused the word creek with kvike. Kvike. Kvike? Kvike? Um, I could say kvike. It's probably wrong. Creek is German for cherry. Kvike is a different thing entirely. I've had one other kvike beer, and it was a Saison by Iron Horse called My Cousin Vinny? No, My Cousin Weird Cousin Something, Cousin Vinny, Cousin Cousin Something by, it's a, it was a Kvike Saison by Iron Horse Brewing. Just a moment. And in my and in my tasting notes for that beer, a Kvike IPA, I noted that it was um, it had an interesting funky bitterness to the finish that I found very intriguing, particularly for a saison. I recall enjoying it quite a lot. I believe I rated rated it pretty highly on Untapped. This was a few years ago. Um, obviously, I enjoy Saisons, so that's not saying a whole lot about the high rating, but, you know. Kvike is a Norwegian traditional yeast that is typically passed along and carried and stored in cakes. And it is not super common to find in beers. And so when I was at the Tumwater Artesian Brewing Festival uh, two weeks ago, I was quite happy to see that one of the local breweries was releasing a an IPA based on this yeast. So Thor's Water Kvik IPA by Top Rung Brewing is an IPA made with this traditional Norwegian yeast. It is a it's a hazy IPA, you can tell. It's I mean it's it's dense. It's it's like smoothie dense. Um, it's not a milkshake IPA. It's not a uh, pastry or anything like that. It's just really cloudy. So it's a hazy IPA. So I'd ex I would expect that to be far more tropical and sweet. Um, less less of the bitterness. However, I would say that flavor-wise, this probably bridges the divide between a West Coast IPA and a hazy or Northeastern IPA um, in quite a pleasing way. The the Kvik IPA, my comments about it being on the for the the, the my cousin something, uh, oh my Nordic cousin, that's what it is. It's my Nordic cousin by Iron Horse Brewing, um, and then my Nordic cousin. I noticed that it kind of had this bitey bitterness at the finish, and that bitey bitterness from the yeast uh, does some nice things with the hops used in this beer, and make it quite tasty. This is, so this isn't my first taste, sorry, you're not getting first reactions. Um, having drunk this fresher, um, it has a, like a strong California grapefruit, you know, yellow grapefruit. Texas grapefruit, ruby grapefruit, ruby reds, those are very sweet grapefruit, and they're delicious. California grapefruit are, and it might not be California, yellow grapefruit are far more tart and almost have an earthy character to their to their uh, tartness. This has that level of grapefruit. It's definitely grapefruit, but it's definitely not ruby red grapefruit. It is a yellow grapefruit, um, and it's really, really nice. Anyways, let's give it some uh, analysis here. So definitely, you smell the grapefruit. It's there. It's present in the smell. It's present in the flavor. There is a bit of a kind of a funky bitterness that you're getting more than just the grapefruit, even in the nose. And I think that speaks to the character of the Kvike IPA. 
sorry, of the Kvike yeast. Um, it's it's really it's really a a strong aspect of the beer's uh, flavor. Whereas with that other IPA, uh, the the hops kind of take over. This it seems more like the hops were mated with a very strong yeast. And full disclosure, this is all based on my experience of the Mydordic Cousin, which being a Saison, a very different style, had a very interestingly similar smell and flavor to it, to this. So on the taste, you get this really nice, um, juicy, but not sweet. Not like a juicy sweetness like you will with the uh, hazy IPA, but it's still juicy. It's just it's more of the the grapefruit peel or a yellow grapefruit, very much less of that sweetness. And then you're left with this kind of grapefruit grapefruit peel finish as well. And then this interesting kind of it's almost a bitey bitterness to it, bitey, like um, like sharp. Uh, you almost you might call it maybe um, I know what. Okay, um, humble fog is a cheese from the small creamery in Oregon that you can sometimes pick up at Costco in the area around here. You know, if I'm talking about Top Rung, this is a, a lacy beer, so I'm talking very local stuff. Um, Humboldt Fog is a soft, soft um, cheese that's cut through with vegetable ash, which uh, kind of balances the creaminess with this kind of bitey bitterness. Um, in the in the center of the cheese kind of throughout the cheese and that's kind of what I'm tasting here in the finish it's kind of a, a bitey bitterness so it's it's almost um, I mean, how do I how do I describe it it's like that <laughs> it's good it balances nicely the creaminess and the juiciness it works very well together and I like this a lot this is a very good IPA if you're in the Olympia area, and you have access to top rung beers, grab it. It's good. This is Top Rung Brewing's Thor's Water Kvike IPA. That is a Norwegian yeast. And uh, <laughs> I'll catch y'all on the flip side.